Hello everybody, this is Sandra. Um, I'm with Roadrunner89. As you know, my husband Brent talks about interracial marriages. So I'm here making like a short video about exploring your options. Um, so us as black women has always been told to be race loyal. And when we have been told that, it was hard to go ahead and explore our options. Well, I'm here to tell you that explore your options. Um, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be happy whoever that makes you happy and to be with. When I met Brent, um, and you probably guys have heard the story of how we met. We, when I met Brent, I was really skeptical. So, but I was scared and nervous and feel emotional at the same time because I have never really got or dated a white man, um, even thought about stepping out um, because I was always told to be, you know, loyal. Um, you always had that chatter in your ear. Um, but when I met Brent, we went on dates, we talked, we got to know each other the emotions were always high and exciting. Um, you know, he showed me love, he showed me kindness, and he showed me so much respect that I never hardly ever got from any, you know, any of my boyfriends that I had at the time. And with him, it was a breath of fresh air because when he showed me all all that, I felt like, wow, there is somebody out there for me that just respects me and loves me for like who I am, no matter what. And knowing my husband, my husband, I'm telling you right now, does not see no color whatsoever. Um, he loves everybody. He respects everybody. And when my family had met, when my family had met him, like I always said, my mom, you know, it was, uh, she told me, she's like, you know, I like him. And when I met Brent and I, and I did a lot of praying and every time I prayed to see, you know, just to set me on this path here, it always led me back to him. And I felt the reason why it led me back to him is because God knew I was looking for and he knew his heart. And so that's how we've been married for 28 years. Um, he's a blessing. And my mom always said, you know, don't miss on your blessings when they're, still, when they're seeing you or coming right back to you. So I always take that to heart and I would like to go ahead and share that with you. So don't miss out on your blessing, ladies. You know, go out there and explore your options. You know, it's, you, you don't know what you're, you don't know until you get out there and see what it has, see what, you know, the other side has to offer. Uh, with Brent, my husband sacrificed. He was in the service. And when he was in the service, he was gone on a lot of deployments. At that time, you know, it was my job to go ahead and hold down the household. I always prayed for him to always, you know, make it back. At that time, we didn't have cell phones or do emails and everything. So when he was deployed, uh, it was hard for us to go ahead and keep that communication going. But I always prayed that God bring him back to me. As my husband was out there in the service, he saw a lot of things, a lot of death. And when we would get special treat, special, which, which what I mean is, is that we would, uh, our, unit would get together and have special phone phone privileges so we would get together they would set up phone a camera and then that way we could go ahead and talk to the soldiers and you know see how they were doing and pretty much keep them uplifted because they're away from home so any chance that we got any chance that they call me trust me we were i was signing my name up to go ahead and talk to him so we could make sure that he was okay and that time was, was 20 minutes, but that time, that 20 minutes felt great because we got to see him. 
he looked good, he was he was okay, and we just and when we went home we slept a little bit better. And any extra time that they give us, we were we took it because the more time we spent talking to him and him seeing the kids was a truly blessing. And I thank God for my husband. Uh, he came back, he came home, and he's been a blessing ever since. And so with us being married for 28 years and seeing our seeing his sacrifices and us being together, give yourself that chance because you just don't know what is out there for you. So everybody I know, people talk to you, let you know, they may have, you know, guide you and say, you know, you don't want that. You know, people are going to talk about you and everything. Don't listen to that. What are your options? You deserve that. Um, because you never know who God's going to put in front of you. And when God put my husband Brent in front of me, let me tell you, I have been the most happiest, most happiest wife ever since. Uh, his, his grandchild loves him to death. His kids love him to death. And I just love him so much. My prayers go up every morning. My prayers go up every night for my husband to thank him for everything that he has done. And putting a roof over our head, putting food in our stomach, and also not only that, but being a friend and a great companion. Um, when my days are rough, and I'm telling you, I had a rough day at work here today. Um, he, I couldn't get off the phone, and uh, you know, I work from home, and he brought me food, and he brought me something to drink, and he's rubbing my back because I am so stressed out. And uh, but he, you know. I love him to death. And ladies, you know, open up your options because you just never know who that special person is. And so my advice to you is to anybody that wants to talk to you and get to know you, go ahead, try it, see, see what that person's all about. Doesn't mean you have to go ahead and step into it. Just, just open, you know, yeah, you have your red flags and yeah, you know you have you have your tutorial area. That's fine. That's all good, but give give it a chance. Talk, ask questions, see what that other person's like. So, like my mom always said, not to leave you with this. Don't miss out on your blessings. All right. Well, I hope this helps out a little bit, and. Um, you know, if you have any questions, you know, let my husband know and I might just sneak back on one of his videos and, and then discuss more. But yes, ladies, please weigh out your options. All right. Well, you guys have a good night. It was good talking to you and thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.